number one Iron Age booty daddy. All right, so anytime that you decide to criticize anything heavily or lightly on the internet, people are going to come out and they are going to defend it. And a lot of times, in my experience over here on my channel, people will come out and they actually have really good arguments and they make me think. Well, I'm going to read some comments that I received on a video that I did a few weeks back. And the reason that I'm doing this is because, one, it's irritating, and two, because I can't cover it on Sunday Coffee because it's a video that... I've already read all the comments on this guy just came in late to the party. So here's what we're going to do. I criticized Eric July and my fears for Isom 2 because Isom number one didn't quite deliver for me on the, those levels. Well, I guess I didn't criticize Eric July. I criticized Isom. I love Eric July to death, and I think what he is doing is absolutely fantastic. And I even admitted in that video his book might not be for me. But when somebody comes at me and says that my criticisms aren't valid because I didn't mention Superman or Batman, you're going to get it. So let's get into this here really quick, guys. And if you guys like what I am doing here, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. And here's the thing, guys. If we are going to have an awesome fan just just culture again we do have to be able to debate things we do have to be able to talk about things so that's what i'm doing here and i got tired of typing things out because i hate typing on my phone and stuff like that so let's get into this what did this guy say to me over here all right and hopefully you guys can see all of the lettering and whatnot but it says uh panka Jan jana does the superpower care about life in the context you are talking about? Question mark. When they have battles and destroy the city, what about those people's lives? This is my rebuttal to that criticism. Um, so at this point, I was really confused. I was like, what the hell is he talking about? Do the super powered care? I, I had no idea. I never mentioned at any point in the video that because Isom has powers is the reason he doesn't care about people. I actually never mentioned that. So he's already starting off here with a false thing. He's already saying that I said because Isom had superpowers means that I criticized him the way that did, and I and I didn't. In fact, I don't think I talked about Isom's superpowers once in this video, which is my Will Isom to be good video. Okay. So uh, I said, that's not a rebuttal, but it's a very good question. Your question would actually make the context even worse. So yeah, if Isom didn't care about people dying left and right in a calamitous event that we've never seen Isom in before, okay? He goes on, he says, I'm missing something here. You said Avery doesn't seem like a hero because he doesn't have the caring for life as aspect to which I sh showed, to which he showed. Where did you show that anywhere? Okay, uh, none of the superpowered really have that yet they aren't given the same critique okay so his problem with this ultimately is that i didn't talk about other characters and other super powered beings i when i'm doing an isom video something that people need to understand i'm talking about isom i'm talking about the writing of that book okay superman batman captain america iron man none of those people matter in the world of isom do you know why because they're not in the world of isom they're not a part of the ripperverse those characters do not matter to the isom story nor the events that isom is going through okay okay uh, so they say they aren't given the same critique. I have flat out said that that's why I don't like the Zack Snyder movies because people just die on mass and that's not what superheroes do. Okay. I've, I've said that before. If I haven't said it in a video, I just said it here. Okay. Um, I said, I wasn't offering critiques of other characters. My critique was Vysum. I don't believe I pulled any other characters from other places. Why do these characters matter? He says, ironically, that's the point. So basically... Unless I talk about Superman and Batman, I'm not allowed to talk about, uh, and I keep saying Superman and Batman because why not? I'm not allowed to talk about Isom, right? So what he is saying is, so, so I have a question. If I came out and just utterly praised Isom for everything that, that was done in Isom, which I didn't, would he say the same thing here? Would he say that your praise of Isom isn't actually a good video because you're not praising Superman and Batman for the same things. I highly doubt this guy would do that, okay? I highly doubt he would. So I said, so you want me to talk about other characters that were not in this comic book and then talk about how they handle situations that were also not 
in this comic book. Why would I talk about other characters? This really feels like a whataboutism. If you're asking, would I levy the same thing any of those uh, against any of those other characters? I That's a typo there on my part. Hey, look at that. It's a drink with crazy. I make typos all the time. If they were written into this exact same situation, I would. But you started talking about things that didn't even happen in the book. So let's scroll up back up here, right? He says, does a superpowered care about life? I've never, I never mentioned whether superpowered people care about life. When they have battles and destroy the city. So where in Isom number one here, I'll get my copy out really quickly. Um, I, I don't know. And maybe, God, maybe I just missed it. Where in Isom number one, did he have a massive battle that destroyed a city? Okay, well, I'm not going to waste time trying to find it. But, uh, guys, maybe I missed a really big plot point in Isom 1, and maybe that's... But I don't remember where Isom uh, destroyed an entire city in his battles. So I don't actually know how that factors here, because it's not the same situation. And, in fact, last I checked, Eric July is a totally different writer than... Anybody who wrote Superman and Batman and any of those other DC and Marvel comics. Maybe I'm wrong, though, guys. I, I would love for you to go check to see if Eric July actually wrote any of those. That would be great. He says he's saying that the criticism doesn't make sense because it could be said about all superheroes. So my criticism was is that after he even meets the girl, he doesn't care about the girl that he's supposed to be rescuing, right? I don't bring other characters and things like that into this because I'm not criticizing him based off of other characters. I'm criticizing the fact that it doesn't seem like Isom cares about other people to the extent that I find endearing or that I find, you know, uh, uh, to, to, to be something that I would read, right? To be a character that I would like. Okay, I said if the writers wrote it that way, then yes, it could. I'm sure it probably happened a bunch of times. That's kind of the reason Zack Snyder sucks at making superhero movies. I'm still really confused. Why do other superheroes in other situations matter when it comes to Isom? He says the criticism doesn't make sense. It's like saying... Uh, you don't think he acts like he has powers. Where did I talk about Isom having powers in that video? I never said in any way, shape, or form, him having powers is tantamount to him not caring about people. He is injecting something here that was never said. I then went on to later say in a Sunday coffee where I read all of the comments on my channel, to which I actually will respond to somebody else because they commented on that video, that... Based off of the characterization of Isom and his lack of care of this girl, even after finding out that she was in a situation that she's most likely being coerced into, and Isom decided that he mattered more and his pride mattered more than this girl who's possibly in a bad situation, I said, I don't think Isom would go out of his way to help a grandma pick up some groceries that she dropped on the ground. I have also flat out said I could be wrong here. Now, a lot of people have come onto the channel and they've left plenty of comments saying, hey, dude, like, and, and, and they give all these extenuating circumstances, okay? They, they say, but it's only the first book. Exactly. We don't have the rest of the story. They say, but his backstory, right? But, but my backstory, okay? So he's not gonna hold the door open for people. He's not going to where. OK, so his backstory is he was a superhero, then left the superhero life because it wasn't for him. Right. Possibly grew up in a bad neighborhood, whatever. How does that factor into him not caring about this girl who's obviously being coerced into something? Right. How does whose powers factor into that? Why do I have to talk about Superman in order to talk about Isom? Why do I talk about Isom in a small encounter after meeting a girl and then basically an alleyway brawl? Do I have to take into account the megalithic battles that they've had in other comic books that have wiped out whole swaths of city and then say that those two situations are the same because there's not. When I see Isom handle a citywide collapse where buildings are falling down and people are dying by the bushel full. I will then com possibly compare how he handles that situation to the rest of the superheroes who have been in that situation. But right now, he hasn't been. Okay? There's no basis for this. 
There's none. And I, I, for the life of me, cannot understand why I have to talk about other superheroes from companies that have eviscerated things from my childhood and I just don't care about them anymore to talk about Isom. Okay, Isom didn't float my boat the way that everybody else's did. But to say that I have to talk about other superheroes in this video, and the problem with my video is that I didn't give the ad space on my channel to Marvel and DC, which that guy actually, he got me to do it here. Right? I didn't mention Marvel or DC in my Ripperverse video that's about the Ripperverse because I want to talk about the thing that Eric July is doing that my criticism isn't valid. I'm not actually able to criticize this singular story based off of its own merits. No, I have to use other people's works, other people's stories to criticize this one. Right. I can't just say, hey, like if I met this chick and I was in a similar situation, I'd probably be like, well, damn, she's in a bad situation. Maybe mm, she's hanging out with some bad people. I'm going to go beat up those bad people and get her out of there. How does how does that factor in? Why do you want to talk about Superman so bad? Superman, that DC, dude, they're dead and gone, man. They they ain't. They ain't why, why do you want to talk about Marvel and DC so bad? Why? Do I need to start doing Marvel and DC movie, you know, DC crap on my channel now? Because I don't care about them. I pro it'd probably get the clicks. Why? No. I had problems with some of the writing in Isom. I liked some of the things in Isom. Had nothing to do with Isom. I actually liked other characters. And not Alpha Core or Yaira, because we don't know anything about them. It was other characters that had some lines in the book that were introduced in a good way. But no, if you want to go and you want to talk about Superman and Batman, go for it. Go for it. Have a nice fucking day. They don't matter anymore. Why talk about things that don't matter? Eric July, the Ripperverse, what he's doing, that actually matters. And we could see things change in a big way. And I want to see these books reach the levels that we have previously seen. I mean, Superman's 90 years old now almost. Almost 100 years old. I want to see Isom get there. And so, yeah. If I see something and it strikes me the wrong way or just I don't jive with it, why not talk about it? And I was even a little nervous to do that video. Thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys want me to respond to your comments, uh, I do a live stream every Sunday. It's called Sunday Coffee. Guys, I'd love to see you there. I go live, read all the comments, and if, uh, if I get something wrong, you're more than welcome to come and criticize me for sure. But like I said, this here, no. The, the, this guy, he's just a stan. I mean, I, mean, I guess you're going to get stands even for the people that I like, right? You, you're going to get Eric July stands. You're going to get... but. Know when to spot them and know when not to. That's the difference. So thank you guys so much for checking it out. I got my or I got my order in for Isom 2 coming. So I'm excited to read that. Looks like some good artwork is in there. And I do hope that the writing does get a little better. And I do hope that there are things in there that make me jive with Isom a little bit more. But we shall see. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.